SML Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is coming soon. At the end of episode 3, Jeffy hinted at the fact that the Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant gave him nightmares, which directly references the fourth game, and at the very end of the video, they even said part 4 coming soon. However, I believe that part 4 is coming a lot sooner than you might think, because the last three episodes had to be filmed on sets. Because in the first and second games, you're at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Hey Marvin, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I already gave Jeffy the tour last time, so I'm not going to do that again. I just wanted to show you the animatronics Jeffy beat up. He kicked all their asses. Sure did, Danny, because they were trying to kill us. And in the third game, you're at a replica of the restaurant. The place burned down last night. It burned down? Yeah, all the animatronics burned up, except for one, so I decided to turn the place into a horror attraction. I set the whole place up to look like a big haunted house with security cameras and everything, like, like you're really there. So I'm going to charge kids $10 to come visit it. D do you guys know any kids that would pay $10 to come get scared? Well, three of my friends are in that room over there. You could ask them. Three? That's like 30 bucks, okay. But in the fourth game, it's inside of a bedroom, which would make it insanely easy for SML to film, which probably means that the video is coming out this Saturday, because so far, episodes 2 and 3 came out on a Saturday. However, episode 1 came out on a Friday, but that's probably so they could release the video on the same day the actual Five Nights at Freddy's movie came out. But what's actually going to be in the fourth Five Nights at Freddy's episode? Well, I did a ton of research on all the Five Nights at Freddy's lore, as well as the fourth game's gameplay mechanics, and took hints from the past Five Nights at Freddy's episodes that we got to come up with this speculation. So far, every episode has been based off of a game. Episode 1 was based off of the first game, and same with 2 and 3 respectively, and Jeffy confirmed at the end of the video that he gets nightmares. I'm never going back there ever again because that place gave me... Nightmares. <laughs> which is confirmation that the fourth episode will be about the fourth game and its story. Because in the fourth game, it's revealed that it was a nightmare slash hallucination. But it's important to understand the lore, so I'll sum it up quickly. Most of this coming from the official Five Nights at Freddy's book known as Didophobia, which came out not too long ago, so you probably haven't even heard of this. One day, a seven-year-old boy named Rory was in his house packing his things for school. And after he ate breakfast, he went to go look for the door to go to school. But he couldn't find the door, as it suddenly just wasn't there anymore. So he looked out the window and saw that it was dark, so he went to bed. However, in his sleep, the animatronics that looked similar to the Freddy Fazbear's Pete's animatronics would scare him in his sleep. And this nightmare went on for 10 straight years. However, he woke up one day and said, no more nightmares. But suddenly, he realized his voice had deepened, he had gotten taller, and his body became thinner. He wasn't 7 anymore, he was 17. And it turns out the entire time, he was in a replica of his own house that that William Afton, who is played by Mr. Winkle, was experimenting on him using gas that would cause people to hallucinate. However, soon after, William Afton would put his own son, Michael Afton, in the experiment, and that's who we see playing the game in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Which already brings me to a lot of conclusions of things that will 100% be coming in the fourth episode. The first being that it's going to be recorded in a bedroom, and will probably include a lot of movement, as Five Nights at Freddy's 4 does make you move around a lot. Jeffy will also be the main character, as at the end of the third episode, he already says that he gets nightmares, and that's the entire basis of the fourth game. Jeffy will probably get kidnapped by Mr. Winkle and given the mushroom pizza, as that's what they've been using to make the characters hallucinate. Wait, you have pizza? Yeah, mushroom pizza. You eat enough of that, you're gonna start seeing some scary shit. I promise. Okay, well, I guess we need some pizza. And Jeffy will have to play Five Nights at Freddy's 4 in real life, but this time he won't be able to escape himself. Someone is gonna have to come save him, either being Marvin and Rose or Brooklyn Guy who stops Mr. Winkle and gets Jeffy out of his hallucinogenic state. But now we have to talk about gameplay mechanics. What is Jeffy going to do? We know the SML really goes into detail with all the game mechanics, as in the second episode, they completely revamped the security office to play just like the second game, as well as introduce Using the same items that were in the game and even the characters. Well, who's that thing? Oh yeah, that. That's Balloon Boy. He's a total asshole. How is he an asshole? Well, he just likes to turn the lights out like he pays the power bill here. No, don't you do it, you f <laughs> God damn it, Balloon Boy! Turn the lights back on! Wait a minute. We haven't wound the music box in a while. Let me check. Oh, sh wind it, wind it, wind it, wind it, wind it! 
Okay, it's working. Oh gosh, she's gone. Oh god, this is so stressful. And in the third episode, they went to a completely new set and even included the vents and hallucination characters, as well as the control panel, and tried to make it exactly the same as the game. That, that's the animatronic! Yeah, oh, oh, okay, let's just uh, reboot that real quick. Uh, uh, okay, uh, who wants to come check the vent with me? I'll go with you. Okay, come on. I'm gonna stay here with the pieces and make sure no one eats it. So, in the fourth episode, when they copy Five Nights at Freddy's 4, there are a bunch of things that they'll have to add, such as a door on each side of a bedroom, which I'm not sure how they're gonna do in the SML house, so they might have to build another set, but it's not 100% for sure. They'll need to bring two brand new characters, such as Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare, as well as every single other character to change into their Nightmare form, which I'm not sure if they'll do, but they'll also have to introduce the Freddles, where in the game, small little versions of Nightmare Fredbear would appear on the bed behind you, and so you'd have to shine a light on them to scare them away. And if three Freddles are on the bed, the next one to appear is the actual Nightmare Fredbear, and he comes to kill you. But one thing that has me curious is the closet. The closet is actually one of the main mechanics in the game, but it's for Foxy. And once he's in there, you'll have to shut the closet door for at least five seconds if he gets too close to stop him from killing you. However, in the SML episodes, Foxy is actually a good guy and would help Jeffy. I never thought I'd die in an air vent. Wait, kid, you hear a skateboard? I do hear a skateboard. It's Foxy! Yeah, kick his ass, Foxy! Yeah, get him! Get him, Foxy! Wait, is Foxy good? Oh, yeah, he's awesome. Hey, hey, Foxy, Foxy, can you get us out of here? Thanks! <laughs> so it could be entirely possible that they might not include the closet part of the game, or they'll have another character use the closet. But then there's also the plush trap minigame, where after every night you have to try and shine the light on plush trap to catch him on the X, and if you succeed, the next night will skip you ahead 2 hours to 2am. But every single SML Five Nights at Freddy's episode has only been one night, so they might not include this. But now that we know what they'll do, what's gonna happen with the characters and the story? Well, using all of the information from the game, as well as the book and previous SML episodes, my theory is that the video will start out with a shot of Jeffy being asleep in his bed while he's snoring. and the camera will zoom in on his head and then will be taken into his dream, where he'll be in the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 bedroom with the two doors on each side and closet in the middle. However, he was put there by Mr. Winkle because Mr. Winkle fed Jeffy more of the mushroom pizza to make him hallucinate and give him these nightmares. And Jeffy will be stuck in a never-ending loop. He'll have to try and stop the nightmare animatronics from killing him, but in the meantime, Marvin and Rose will realize that Jeffy isn't in his room anymore and that he was kidnapped, and so they'll call Brooklyn guy over and tell him what happened. And so they try and figure out where Jeffy went and eventually they put a stop to Jeffy's nightmares and save him from Mr. Winkle. But will they kill Mr. Winkle? No, as William Afton was in Five Nights at Freddy's sister location and since sister location is the next game after Five Nights at Freddy's 4, they'll still need him for that episode. But we'll only have to wait and see for what they actually do as the possibilities are endless. But let me know what your theory is or if I missed anything down in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe.